guys, it's me, Jenny, and I'm shouting from the other side of my room right now because I'm recording on my webcam camera and I'm not sure how good my microphone is, but hi. Um, I was just chilling out on my day off and I got halfway through painting my trident and I was just thinking, I have not produced enough videos recently to do Vlogtober and I was like, hey, all I'm doing is painting my trident, so I might as well, you know, film a quickie video of me doing that while I'm doing it. So, um, as a very quick backstory, uh, my main costume for Halloween this year is um, I'm going to a costume party. I'm going as a, I haven't decided yet, um, monster um, equivalent of my D&D character. And my D&D character is a elven cleric of Deep Satellaeus, who is a dare to the oceans. Um, and she is a... Uh, Tempest Cleric. Um, so her weapon of choice is a trident. Um, so I found this um, trident that I bought in um, a shop at in town, um, which I actually thought was pretty perfect because it comes with like it's like got a sea serpent kind of design. Like it's got like it's a serpent uh, tied around it. It's got like a serpent head down the bottom here, um, and uh, it started off as red and devilly. And at the moment I'm in the process of doing a base coat for black and green and blue. Um, so I can make it more oceany, um, and a picture of the original here. There we go. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna watch something on YouTube while I'm uh, painting this, and I'll just take you through some of the stages as I go. So as I said, first paint port um, level was just get it all black because I didn't want any red at all, and uh, it was primarily red. Um, right now I'm doing detail in green around the kind of serpent belly. Uh, which twists around inside and outside and I'm going to make the forked bits all blue um, and then I'm going to do some silver metalling to try and make it look slightly less tacky and cheap. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys have heard me from all the way over on my bed when I'm all the way over here on my chair um, but I figured I probably shouldn't paint in bed because that's bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and on we go.
Hey guys, um, so I finished it, Wee! and I'm shooting outside even though it's chilly out here because the light is about to go um, and my room is very dim. Um, but yes, I finished it, so um, I don't know how much I actually showed in my previous video, but this is the top of it. So um, I did the colouring and then I did a little bit of the kind of dry brushing silver to get it a nice silvery colour. And then I added a bunch of like little beady bits in crystals and gold, stuck that all on. So I did one layer just to stick on and then another layer on top which it dries clear so it looks like it's kind of growing barnacles which I really like. Um, and then for the staff part, so this is the second part of it, um, I also added some beads at the top there. And this is, um, again I can't remember how much I showed in my last video, but this is um, like woven fabric which I've um, done some blotchy colour underneath and then again dry brushed in silver to give it a kind of silvery look and it's got a good grip on it. And then at the end of the staff, it's the last bit, again, same technique, and then I added some pebbles and stuff to the bottom of it, so it kind of looks like it's, well, it's mostly to cover up the fact that I ran out of that brick, uh, but it also weights it nicely so I can spin it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to screw that all together and I'll just spin it around a bit to show you off and then I'm going to go inside because it's chilly.